Hi, my name is Paul Ulishile and welcome to Linux Shell Scripting, Automating Command Line Task. I graduated with a diploma degree in computer science and I'm currently working as a cyber security analyst and I freelance and I do a lot of Unix stuff. I teach Linux system administration. I have experience of four years. All right, for this course, what we'll learn in this course, we'll be learning about the shell. All right, shell is interpreter. We will learn how to dive into the shell to touch the power of the CLI and provides against the GUI, the graphical user interface. By writing our first shell, we will learn how to use the shell commands and read demand pages. We'll be reading, as we learn new things in the shell, we'll be going through the man pages for the shell. And the next one is um, colon descriptive parameters. We will also be creating a simple shell script that helps to combine shell commands into one using aliases. We'll be using aliases. And the next one is changing the redirection. We'll be changing our script from previous scripts and redirecting the outputs of the script into a text file. We'll be redirecting it from the command line which is the terminal, we'll be redirecting it straight into a text file. We're also going to be defining and calling functions. We'll also learn how to write functions for code reuse. We're calling math classes. Functions will actually help us to define actions that may return different results based on the arguments we pass to it. And um, the next one is looping and branching. Next, we'll be combining loops to control structures, which will enable shell scripts to perform complex operation while being understandable to the reader. And also, we're going to be passing in regular expressions. We will know how to validate arguments before processing regular expressions and learn about the basics of rigors. The next one is we're going to be learning to use the log. We are going to be writing logs in the right way and fight the temptation to use input and output redirections and also take a look at OS system calls. All right, the things you're going to be needed for this course, you can use basically any Linux OS, but one of the most precursor sites, Ubuntu or CentOS 7, with a storage of 10 gigabytes and a RAM of 2 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes RAM. Can't wait to get started. Thank you very much. See you later.